The truth that was kept as a secret for decades or a secret for Polish Chanel that you have become a victim of a terrible mistake. We are supposedly wanted to be turned into limited patients of oncology, tuberculosis and kidneys. They say for a long time, but no one hears them. Officials pretend not to hear them. Or the problem is really not worth a damn. So what are we talking about? We will learn together. According to Murat Turlubekov's words, standard recommendations of World Health Organization restricted the use of iodine in medicine are a profound delusion and supposedly even well-planned conspiracy. Daily consumption is 0.125 mg. If more amounts than it is toxic or even death can occur, that it is not fully correspond to reality, said Murat Turlubekov. It is possible that there is some truth in the statements of experts. If we take into consideration all the facts and results of studies that scientists in the world have got. But we will speak about that a little bit later. So, where did the standards of World Health Organization adopted without superfluous questions by the medical community come from? We know iodine is the most elementary, the most effective preventive remedy for a broad range of clinical pathologies. On the basis of the fact that iodine is toxic, in 1948 two pseudoscientists Wolf and Chekhov made researchers of iodine on mice and white rats and found out that one milligram of iodine is a deadly amount for a human. Professor Michael Zeltzer doesn't care a fig about weather. It is still snow on the ground, but he goes out to the street highly, lightly dressed, like as it was in May. Good immune system strengthened by good iodine doses is a guarantee of health that cannot be affected by diseases. Speaking about norms and standards of World Health Organization, Zeltzer is keeping in his hands two advertising bottles of iodine. In Japan, a person consumes approximately 13.5 mg of iodine per day, not micrograms, as it is considered to be norm under recommendations of World Health Organization from 100 till 300 grams of iodine, at average 250 grams. So, microgram is by 1,000 times less than milligram. And there the Japanese consume daily approximately 13.5 milligrams, and this is one of the healthiest nations on Earth. Bottle of iodine is an integral part of any first aid kit. Everyone knows that this is an excellent antiseptic and all sores adopt with this brown liquid. But it turns out the last 100 years medicine was very biased to the remedy and did not use all its curative abilities. Here it is a folk way to find out if a person has iodine deficiency. Any part of the body is covered with iodine. In this case, this is my chest. Then we are watching the speed of absorption of medical liquid into the body and determine the presence of iodine deficiency. The faster the absorption occurs, the faster you must run to the doctors. This is a direct threat to national safety, because level of working ability is decreasing, span of life is reducing. This can result in various kinds of diseases, depleted so-called immune system, process of body resistance. In developed countries, whose experience is often referred to by scientists, this issue is inextricably connected with the saturation of the market with seafood, fish, shellfish, seaweed, especially where there is a lot of iodine, as well as biologically active substances that compensate for the lack of substances in the human body. Suffice it to say that in Japan, 100% of the adult population regularly consumes biologically active supplements. It was estimated that in order to achieve the sufficiency of iodine in the whole body, we need to eat 200 grams of salt. It is absolutely impossible. And besides, for salt iodinization, they use either potassium iodine or potassium iodate. Well established that the body needs not only iodine, but elemental iodine as well. So we need a combination of iodine and iodine. But this is not achieved in salt. We don't need no education. 
This is called film The Wall of rock band Pink Floyd. The film is full of a variety of allegories and allusions to world tastes. How not to draw parallels with iodine deficiency? As known, it is the cause of retardation of physical development, disturbances in motor function, cognitive development and creatinine, degradation and becoming zombies. What could be worse? Today, one-third of the population of the Earth, according to the World Health Organization, lives with iodine deficiency. Among them, inhabitants of the country of the rising sun are strikingly different. These Japanese are interesting people who do not care about the world's strictest standards of World Health Organization. They consume iodine in necessary amount in their opinion and continue to amaze the world with their scientific achievements. Western scientists have unraveled the mystery puzzle phenomenon of Japanese health and longevity. The miracle is not in their phenomenal technological successes, but in simple everyday consumption of 44 mg of elemental iodine, that is they consume iodine in milligrams rather than micrograms, which exceeds the recommended World Health Organization standards by 300 times. Meanwhile, according to statistics, this is the most smoking and one of the most drinking nations in the world. Today, in spite of more and more chemicals are produced, morbidity level is increasing geometrically. The more white chemistry is produced, the more levels of morbidity and mortality they increase. By 2020, diabetes mortality will take the first place. All the modern drugs of synthetic chemistry, artificial hormones cure a disease, but not the patient they emphasize. The human body is a complex system, but it has a mechanism of self-recovery and protection against pathogenic factors. Nature has provided all initially. For example, prosperous world of oceans rich in iodine where there is no disease. Whales, for instance, live till 500 years, sequoia three, four and a half thousand years. So it turns out that Iodine, which is also little like clean air and water, is presented to be almost an enemy of all mankind. About 10 years ago, U.S. scientists concerned about the deteriorating health of the Americans conducted large-scale studies and came to a shocking state. Statistical comparisons of the existing diseases and the diseases of the development countries were clearly not in favor of America. Countries where the annual cost of medical services and payments of medical insurance is 1 trillion U.S. dollars and 60 percent of worldwide turnover of pharmacological products overseas should be an indicator of successful treatment of the Americans. However, the statistics showed that the Americans are one of the sickest nations in the world. Health statistics of Japan has taken as the basis of the comparisons. The laborious researchers of the causes of good health of the inhabitants of the mysterious insulin eventually led American scientists to seemingly mere discovery. But this mere opening as a success bombshell and has inspired many actions in the academic circles of America. The main problem was in transport of iodine in the body because iodine is very active and it inhibits most elements. In addition, the body requires pure iodine. Synthesis of pure iodine and protein compounds is a natural confirmation of a deep and careful treatment of iodine to the organic world. For example, an American professor, George Fleer, proved that the cause of the disease of stomach cancer is not so much the presence of bacteria Helicobacter pylori, but the absence in the stomach cells of the same elemental iodine. If there were enough amount of iodine in the cells of the stomach, this bacteria would have been simply destroyed. It is necessary to receive the standards of iodine, its importance, not only as necessary element for the thyroid gland, but also a necessary element for the whole organism, first of all, for female reproductive system. When we begin to apply such amount of iodine, we will make the world revolution of health in Kazakhstan, and tomorrow, within three years, we will become the third country as regards the level of life and health of the population.